See, we hanging up the trophies and shit. We got our million subscriber plaque back there. Congratulations. You feel me? They owe us another one. They owe us another one. YouTube, huh? Yeah, send us the send us the one for two million. Well, send just send me a million dollars. Oh, that's right. I'd be happy with that. Send me a million dollars. <laughs> you know, per follower or whatever. Then I gotta show y'all this too, man. I want y'all to see this. You feel me? Flexing this shit. Uh oh. Flexing this shit, man. I got gotta let y'all see that. I, I can hold it. Yeah, you can hold the NAACP award. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't be stingy with you like that. <laughs> so, man. I, I treat you like family when you come <laughs> on here. I ain't gonna just make you look yeah, at it. Yeah, doing your thing, man. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause the price just went up. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, I'm taking that everywhere Today's I go. Price just so they, not yesterday. Yeah, just so they know who they dealing with. Like I'm taking this. Well, why you got it in the box? You, put you know why it's in the box? This just came. Oh, okay. It's just gonna came. be up next week. Yeah, it's yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I might get me a fake one for the studio, like yeah, replica, just so, you know, safety, insurance <laughs> reasons. Walk off. Put that one in the vault, you know. People, you know, people be breaking that shit. Man, we can melt it down and get the gold up here, shit, shit. You know what I'm saying? We don't need all them bad ideas, man. Hey, man, welcome back to the 85 South Show. Yeah. Um, we interrupt this program for a very special bulletin broadcast, man. We got some very special guests. In here today that's gonna update all the beards in the world, bro. Like we got some some engineers and some scientists that's been studying the shape and the curves in the black face. <laughs> now you might be asking what I'm talking about. Now I've been looking all over the continent for a good beard product, and then it hit me. I called my great auntie. I said, Auntie, what you put in your beard? <laughs> Mm. She told me, she said, respect it, Roots. <laughs> nah, it didn't happen like that, but it would have. I know she would have told me. So we got none other than respected Roots in here with us today. That's going to put us, that's going to help us upgrade the whole beard game. Everybody in here with a beard, you should be paying attention. And to all the ladies who grow that little hair patch on your chest, too. We want y'all to be left out. What's going on? Thanks, Thanks for having man. us, Kevin. How y'all doing? How you doing? Man, man. Man. Y'all got these white shirts on, looking yes, like y'all on a funeral home. What? <laughs> Clean and pristine, <laughs> man. When you look better, you do better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How you been? Great, man. Jared Patterson, one half of Respected Roots. Jason Hawkins, the other half. Man, and we got products of... <laughs> I don't know about your aunt and all that. We got... <laughs> Hey, if you got hair and you got skin, we got something for you, man. This is our second time being on the show. Absolutely. Blessed and highly favored. Happy to be here, man. Uh, but importantly, we're happy to introduce products to our people that actually work for our hair, for our skin, made by us, used by us. And I don't care where you go on this planet, man. There are no brands that represent our people the way that we do, man. Respective who's got the best grooming cosmetics on the planet. You know what I'm saying? For each. Yep. Uh, so everything is made with natural ingredients, man. Uh, so so uh, the reception that we had from the first time we were on the show, man, uh, was resounding. Uh, the emails that came through, that the messages that good. came through. That nigga through. said it was resounding. Resounding. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, what that shit was? Hold up. <laughs> Yep. Sounded. But I said that to say, man, y'all are doing y'all thing, which allows a lot of people to do their thing, too, man. man. That's so what it's all appreciate about. Appreciate you having us. Yes, yeah. Man. But we got some some important stuff coming up, man. So that's why y'all had us back here. Mm -hmm. We got new products on the release, uh, and they sitting right in front of my bro right here. Uh, one is a beard shampoo. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys have been asking for a deep cleansing, deep conditioning. Something for their beard, they want a little extra, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We already had the foaming co-wash for the whole face and for the beard. The beard shampoo is more so uh, for the beard, giving you that deep conditioning action. And everybody's been asking for a new fragrance in the beard conditioner. We dropping the Monarchy. That's coming out right around when this episode is going to air, man. The Monarchy okay. beard conditioner. Brand new fragrance for everybody. Uh, yeah, that gets you closer to everybody, man. When you put that beer conditioner on. So when you when you about to lay up. When you about to lay up. There you go. I see why you did that. Yeah. You know it? I see why you did it. You know what we call that? What? That's an eyebrow razor. When you smell it, your eyebrows go up. You know what I'm saying? And people respect that, man. If you're not looking good, you can have all the jewelry, you can have all the clothes, all the fashion. If you're not taking care of your hair, you're not taking care of your skin. It's over All that with. stuff, other stuff is it's gonna over fade with. away. All that. Yes, sir. Man, that's hard. Yeah. But uh, new products, man, check us out. RespectTheRoots.com. 
everything that you need for grooming as well as the ladies. So you started off talking Shit, about it. It won't leave my hand, bro. You see that? It just it keep it's rolling. To, it yeah, you can lay it down. To me, man. Yep. But we have products for the whole family. That's a question that we get asked very often. Uh, we have body butters for the ladies um, and for the men. Hair moisturizer. Hold up, hold up. Hand you know, sanitizer. You know, I got a lady at the crib. I got. I got. I want to see what you're talking about. Right? That's make for some good massages, man. That's unisex. It's for the entire family. No, I ain't gonna have this for her. This for her, <laughs> and this is her. Uh, everybody else could be ashy in that fucking house if they want. <laughs> got nothing about that. That's for me and mom. Well, she will take. <laughs> she will. She will take it from you if you uh, if you didn't buy her one. Once she tries it, man, it's an all natural ingredient product based with shea butter, apricot oil, tea tree oil, all the essential things that help our skin, help yeah. with the elasticity of our skin. So our skin is being melanated. We need hydration more yeah. than we need to wash out the natural oils that we have. And so that replaces the lotion that we mainly have all had access to in the marketplace. Bro, I didn't know I was going to be in the front of history like that. Bro. You are. The day that black people start using lotion alternatives. This could change the game. As we know it, it's black people. What if we get some shit that's so good we don't even get ashy no more? Like we'll, body butter. We'll figure this shit out, bro. Damn, I ain't know. Bruh, times is changing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And y'all, the brand is just growing at a phenomenal rate from what I'm seeing. Y'all got events coming up. Y'all gonna be hitting live shows. Y'all serious about this skincare, huh? Hey, man. Listen, it was an opportunity gap for us to uh, take advantage of. Yeah. About 15 years ago, y'all know that beards came accessible and, and, and were made uh, acceptable in the public, especially in corporate America. So Yeah, back in the day, you had a beard. You was just a freak-ass man. <laughs> yeah. You know, most, <laughs> most cats I knew that had, Philly, had beards were from Philly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The Philly guys were the ones who had the beards, the Aki beards, they would call them. And, uh, but all of us men, we hated shaving. You know, especially myself, I was ex I'm ex-military, so I had to shave every day. Yeah. But the products that we had access to were infused with a lot of chemicals, so they was tearing our skin up. Most of us men of color can all attest to the razor bumps that we all get underneath our necks. Yeah, I would never use do that shit. Yeah. I, I, bruh, yeah. You would live, I would have to be in like a, a torture hostage situation and they was like, shave your neck. <laughs> Hell no. Well, you know, reason being, um, we wore a lot of masks, protective, protective. Well, gear. I know. I used to be a firefighter. Right. Yeah. So you understand what the purpose. Shit got to seal up. You can't. Right. You don't want to have, like, you know, your mask and shit won't seal on your mm -hmm. face. That defeats the purpose of having that shit. For whatever may happen, they, they want to seal, but a lot of us carried profile chits, which is like a little pass in your back pocket that you would keep on you so you didn't have to shave because you suffered from a lot of the... Uh, uh, the chemicals that were, you know, in those products, you know, without saying names of some of those products, y'all know those pastes and things we used to put on our face that would burn the hair off of your skin? Mm -hmm. That causes now a lot of discoloration. So a lot of men of color, if you notice underneath our necks, we have two different shades underneath our necks because the products that we've been using either had high volumes of isoprofol, which is alcohol, mm -hmm. rubbing alcohol that we could buy at the stores, or it has uh, a different chemical that burns that hair off. Both dry your skin out, both, both causes discoloration and other uh, um, uh, issues down the road that you're going to have. Ingrown so, hairs. All of those things. Keloids. And all those things. So we just wanted to create a line that would uh, <coughs> not only benefit us, but just men alike. Right. Because, again, we all, not all of us now wearing facial hair, so we want to focus on the skin, which is the root of creating a healthier foundation to promote hair growth and also to make it more manageable so we can deal with it on a daily basis. Hell yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad y'all brought me some... Um, just leave all this. Come on, you family. You know <laughs> yeah, we got make you. Make sure that we uh, keep plenty of this body butter in rotation because that shit dope, man. It's all natural. You ain't got to worry about none of that crazy shit. Yeah. Let's take it to the next level, man. Yes, sir. Tell you what you guys are helping us do is uh, real talk, man. Educate men on how to care for themselves, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, having a voice just be able to uh, help black men know what to do for skincare. You know, a lot of guys are trying. You know, we get a lot of questions and emails. My beard is patchy. It won't grow in. Right. It's itchy. I got dandruff. It's falling damn, out. Yeah, damn. Hey, got, hey, we done heard it all. Damn. <laughs> I didn't even know you could get dandruff on your they face. Dandruff yeah. in their beard. Skin man. is dry underneath that hair. Yep. Yeah. Damn. So this is what you need to fix it. One of the beard conditioners. Uh, we have beard oil. Foam and co-wash, guys don't know that you're supposed to be hydrating your face on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. You see your mother do it. You see your sisters doing it, right? It's not just for women. 
it is just a natural thing. Your face is always exposed. So you have to replenish, you have to hydrate. Your beard is no different, right? So that's why we're happy to be here, to just to, because we see the results. When guys use the product, they look better, they feel better, they have more confidence. And that's what we want to do, man. In our culture, we just want to have a more confident man yeah. and family as well. And you want to be able to talk your shit. I look better. I there feel better. My beard's softer. My woman's finer. You need to be able to do all of that, man. Yeah. What's yeah. the website, though, for all the people watching worldwide and they need they can't get right here and get it? Sure, no doubt, man. We are Our business, Respected Roots Grooming Collection, is offered from our e-commerce platform, which is respectedroots.com. And so that's where we primarily sell from business to consumer. We go directly to, we don't deal with big box retailers. We don't allow anybody to get in the way because if our customers have questions, we want them to be able to come to us directly. Uh, outside of that, we travel, as you mentioned, upcoming dates and events where- I got them right here. Where Jared and myself and our team, we all go out to these different events and, and get a chance to engage with the public. Funk Fest coming up. Yes, sir. July, June 14th and 15th. That's in Orlando. And mm -hmm. then another Funk Fest in Louisville, June 21st and 22nd. And then- Y'all in y'all in soror I mean fraternities and shit. Yeah, we're, we're not Phi we're Alpha. not in fraternities, but we're going to be uh, vending at the Alpha Phi Alpha. So I, ain't, I, I went to community college. They ain't even have all that shit. <laughs> they ain't even had it. Well, you know why we do that, right? No, Tim. We get out there and we touch the people, man. There's no other brand doing that. Like yeah. Jason and myself. We both pride ourselves for, as they say, having your ear to the streets, right? Yeah. You know, people could come, they could meet us, greet us, dap up, shake hands, mm -hmm. ask questions about the products. And that's what keeps our brand original and actually solving the problems that people are having, going to events like this, listening no, to No, let me people. tell you the events you need to go to. What's that? You need to come to the 85 South Show. Well, like, you want to make the announcement or you want us to talk about it? No, I'm just saying, you, you want to, that's what, that's the joint. Absolutely. We got, we got diehard fans, and, and they always looking for, bruh, we're taking respect to Roots on the road with us, then. Say that. There we we go. ain't even going to say it. Say that. Y'all yeah, got to see. Say that. Y'all got to see the, the places that we be, and we know people, too. Absolutely. And they already seen you on the show, and they probably ain't, you know, they don't, my people don't like to pay shipping. I'm going to keep it gangster with you. <laughs> that's, that's the real issue. A lot of people don't know. It be the shipping and handling. Yeah. But my people don't like to pay shipping. But if you pull it up, they'll buy it straight then. No shipping. On the set. Well, we're excited to announce that we'll be on the road with 85 South June 1st and June 2nd in Baltimore, Maryland. That's right there. Yeah. That's right there. <laughs> hey, you got the Father's Day sale coming up. Yes, sir. Well, uh, um, as we mentioned, we have the two new products that's going to be released on Father's Day. Yeah. Uh, which is the beard conditioner, as Jared mentioned, the deep conditioning uh, beard shampoo. But everything will be on sale for 20, 25% off from June 1st until midnight, June 16th of Father's Day. All right, bro. For the 65 and up, I'm going to let y'all use my discount. <laughs> but you got to be 65 and up. And you have to be active in your kid's life. Right. right. Like if you lived in the house with their mama, then you get the discount. You can't just be out here claiming, like, we're going to start eliminating a lot of these fake fathers out here. Because y'all fucking it up for everybody. Everybody, oh, I'm a father. Never seen you with them kids. <laughs> them kids ain't on your Instagram. I scroll all the way down to 2015. I'm sick of this shit. Damn. Real fathers only. He went back nine years. Hell. Yeah, and them kids. <laughs> them kids 15. Them kids 15. No, nah, but you're speaking on the truth, man. You know, Father's Day is, a, is, a, is a, say, a day to celebrate all of the guys who uh, take on that heroic role, man, right. as, as being a father. I'm a father myself. My daughter is here. One of my daughters is here in the crowd with us. Uh, it's a, it's an honor. It's a privilege to be a father, especially if you have daughters like I do. I have three girls. You ain't let them do shit. Dude. Uh, you just look like a mean ass daddy. Nah. My father wanted to meet you, nigga. Squeeze your hand on hard. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Didn't he? Didn't he? Squeeze? I know. Well, you know we got the Daddy, roles. Get up. Go in that room. Yeah, we got we got roles that we, that we carry as fathers as men, shit. man. But Absolutely. Just being involved in their lives, but not only that, just being able to give back to the community and, and show homage to our men. Uh, we don't get enough. Uh, we praise our mothers, which rightfully so, for right. being there with us. But the job that a father does, uh, I mean, it's unparalleled as well. Right. We don't have not one song. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. I think they split our holiday. Yeah, mama, the Mama Day song. Mama, they got they their mama. No daddy I always love my mama. Yeah. Mama, mama, mama. Bro, nobody do nothing about the daddy. Nah. Papa was a Rolling Stone. Papa was a Rolling Stone. Come on. Yeah, right. Negativity. <laughs> yeah, all of that. Right. We should do something about that. We should. Yeah. Bro. Many people as we know, Yeah. we can make something happen. We need at least a Father's Day anthem. Yeah. That makes sense. Dance with my 
That no. <laughs> no, that don't count. That does not count. <laughs> Nas said something about daddies or something, didn't he? Nas? I, I don't know. Nas and his daddy made a whole album together. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's better than nothing. <laughs> yeah, but so the, the, the products will be on sale from the 1st of June to the 16th at midnight. 25% off the entire website. No discounts needed. Uh, all the products have been discounted for you. And then, we, like I said, we're excited to uh, release the new products that we have. We, me and Jared, we just don't release new products like a lot of brands that's out there. We, as Jared mentioned, we listen to the streets. So... We want to hear what's needed in our community and what the guys are looking for. And knowing growing the beards out, the pain and things like that that we deal with, with the hair coming protruding from our right. pores. You know what we need. What's that? Me and you. Okay. We need a bald head cream. We got one. Not shaving cream. We got a shaving cream. Here somewhere in the mix. I don't, and not for shaving. This was just like just going for, outside. Well, this I is need what some, I use. with some sunscreen in it, bro. This you ever had I that know. that sun hit a bald head? It's mm -hmm. different. Make you forget shit. It's different. So, Make you forget. Yeah. I don't think they <laughs> even. I don't think they, uh, they don't understand, understand the type of shit headache. that bald head men go through, bro. You ever like yeah. like when in the shower? Yeah, man. Nigga, you can yeah. feel all the nerves in your back yeah. if that hot shower hits your fucking bald head down to your feet. Sometimes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. You don't know nothing about. That. I don't know nothing about that. Man. You know nothing I hope about. I don't that. know for a long time. So. Well, the product that we have here is our, our our body butter that we talked about before. This is a total body moisturizer. Mm -hmm. After I shave my head, I actually apply this product. Right. You know, like I said, the one that replaces the lotion. And it, it leaves your skin very soft, moisturized, but I still put that hat on when that sun is beaming. Because exactly. I, I definitely get where you're coming from. But this is this has a, a shea butter that a lot of people don't know. It has a natural SPF mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. Um, where well, you go out and you buy these sunscreen protectants, they got the different SPF factors. Well, that's been chemically induced mm -hmm. for it to have that SPF factor. Shea butter has a natural SPF to it. So it protects our skin. It nourishes and hydrates our skin adequately. And it protects us uh, from dry, flaky skin that a lot of us in our community are accustomed to. So what was you about to say? About what? You was about to say something. About bald heads? Yeah. I don't talk about nothing. I don't know. All that. right. I, was about to, <laughs> I knew how to see. <laughs> Caught him talking shit in his mind. I, he was I slick saw with it, it, though. <laughs> Uh, hey, when he when we had the shows and guys walk up and they they you got anything for a bald head he will directly he will defer them over to me go over and talk to my business <laughs> he can tell you about that oh, and I man. do vice versa with hair you know what I'm saying when people yeah. ask us about the hair products you know it's coming it's coming from him although I understand the the science behind it but still when you're talking to somebody directly and they have no hair talking to you. you, you Conversations become a little mute when you talk to that person. Right. So we you have never trust the skinny chef. Say that again. Exactly. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. But yeah. look, man, I look forward to it, man. See how we could take this thing to the next level. And I appreciate y'all stepping through here Same. and blessing the game one more time. Man. Thank you, brother. Thank you for yeah, having us. Look man. out, man. Respect the roots. Peace. Come to a city near you. 85 South Show. We out. Ooh. Sir. Sir. Another one. Another one.